Which you guys, today we're taking a look at Windows OEM keys versus retail keys and which is right for you. Should you buy a cheap OEM key and do cheap uh, Windows keys actually work? We'll also be covering the difference between volume keys and Mac keys and other stuff like that just to make sure you understand at what you're doing when you're purchasing keys. Now, you know that CD key sales have been sponsors of my video for many, many years, and they're a loyal uh, sponsorship that we have on this channel. And some people are a little bit dubious about whether they should buy from CD key sales or not. And that's okay because there's a lot of misinformation on the internet, and that's what we're here for today to actually clarify what you're actually getting for your money. So first off, let's talk about Windows OEM keys. In short, the OEM version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 is used by original equipment manufacturers as well as local computer repair shops. So it's the most common in pre-built computers like you're seeing right here. They will come pre-installed with Windows 10 or Windows 11 a Home or Pro, and it will say OEM version on it. And these are what are shipped out to you. It's just a cheaper way and an easier way for them to uh, keep the costs down when they're sending you uh, pre-built computers. Now, Microsoft don't make it easy to find where you can purchase keys on their website, but you can actually buy them directly from Microsoft. You see Windows 11 Home here, download version is £119.99. And they also do a USB version there as well. And you can also get Windows 11 Pro download version, which is £219.99. And, and you can get these directly from Microsoft. At the end of the day, you pay your money, you take your choice. And some people will say, you pay your money, you take your chances. Whatever one floats your boat. But basically, should you buy a cheap OEM key? Well, buying an OEM key is completely legal, of course, if your key has been obtained through legal means. There are plenty of legitimate sites online like CD Key Sales, Amazon, and other examples there which I've shown. So basically, you make your own choices on what one is right for you. So the first thing you need to do is decide whether you want Windows 11 Pro OEM key or whether you want Windows 11 Pro retail key. The next thing you need to decide whether you want Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home. Once you've decided on that, you can then go ahead and make your purchase. You may see global here. That just means you can purchase this globally around the world. It doesn't matter where you are, the key will work. Now, lifetime might be a bit confusing because it doesn't necessarily mean you can deactivate it and transfer it to another computer. OEM keys are a one-time usable key. If you use this OEM key on that one computer, uh, it will basically activate and it will be tied to that motherboard or on that computer for the lifetime of the PC. If you change any of the components like the motherboard, it will then deactivate and you would need to purchase another key. That's the downfall side of OEM keys, but most people uh, generally don't replace motherboards like that but if you did you would need to buy another oem key retail keys on the other hand they're usable anytime anywhere you just deactivate it and transfer it to a new uh, computer so if you've decided to go for the windows 11 pro oem key all you need to do is create an account and use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and apply this to your order and you'll get a discount on your purchase once you submit now you can use paypal to pay for your key and then use that key on your computer now, I'll leave this facts page in the video description. It's called Product Keys Facts. It's from Microsoft and it explains all about volume license keys, Mac keys, also uh, OEM keys and retail keys. And it goes into great detail about all of these keys. And you might find it interesting to find out what they are and how you activate them and things like that. And it will give you a bit more information about it. So I'll leave that uh, link in the video description for you. So should you go for Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home? Generally, OEM versions that you buy from, say, uh, companies like Lenovo, HP, uh, Dell, and other big companies like that, they will generally come with a home version because it's uh, cheaper, and they will buy the OEM keys. They don't use retail versions. So I would go with Windows 11 Pro over Home because you get more features like uh, Group Policy Editor and things like that. Once you've decided on that, you can then go ahead and purchase your OEM key. So if you built yourself a brand new computer and you want to get Windows on it, you can buy one of these keys and you're good to go. It's that simple. A lot of these big companies will use OEM keys and they will purchase them in bulk and they will just go ahead and use them for all their systems. But just remember that the OEM license will be tied to the vendor, which will be whoever you purchased it from. For instance, if you purchased a brand new PC from Dell, or HP or uh, Lenovo, they will support it. 
So an OEM key is a one-time usable key. It cannot be deactivated and it cannot be used on another system. It is locked to that hardware. Basically, the key will die with that computer. So if you change any key components, like the computer motherboard, then that key will obviously deactivate because it's died with the actual computer. And you can read the terms and conditions on Microsoft's website to what they deem a new computer. This is another load of misinformation I see where people say you can't purchase keys other than directly from Microsoft, and this is simply not true. You can purchase keys from loads of uh, vendors online, uh, legitimate sites uh, where you can purchase these, and uh, you can purchase them from sites like these, Amazon, and uh, CD Key Sales, and loads of other uh, third party sites that are selling keys legally, and it's perfectly fine. Now, if you want to know what key you purchase, you can use Show Key Plus, and this will tell you exactly what product key you got. This one's a Windows 10 Pro key, and that's because I upgraded from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 11 Pro. It'll also tell me the product ID, which I've blurred out, the installed key number, and that's the product key number. And this is a retail key, because you can see here, OEM key not present in firmware. Now, of course, if you purchased an OEM key, it will give you the OEM key there, but we don't have an OEM key on this system. Now, it's important that you're not using volume activation keys uh, because those keys are not designed for home users like this. Most of those are used illegally with scripts and stuff online, which you shouldn't be getting into because they are not good to be used on your computer because they generally contain malware and backdoors and other things like that. They activate by scripts, which is not legit. You can check your product key and find out what it is by clicking on the check product key, and it will give you the information about your product key. And you could paste in your... A product key here and it will give you the information about it and exactly what key it is. Now you can also find out what key you got inside command prompt. You can see it tells me it's a retail key. If yours is saying OEM key, that's perfectly fine. If it's saying Mac or volume key, then you need to investigate further. Uh, Mac keys are multiple activation keys and that the volume keys are volume activation is configurable solution that helps automate and manage the product activation process on computers running the Windows operating system that has been licensed under the volume licensing program. So be very careful uh, which way you've gone about activating your version of Windows. You'll see plenty of stuff online and on YouTube, which is not good uh, for activating Windows. So don't use those methods. Use the legitimate methods for activating your computer properly and correctly and legally. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you, whether you want to purchase a Windows home version or Windows uh, Pro version, or if you want to buy a retail version or OEM version. I'll leave some links in the video description. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.